Roadhouse. Come on, guy. Oh, Lexus drivers. All right, I guess I could talk about uh, talk about the things that I like about the bike. Uh, by no means, something just hit, hit me in the foot. <coughs> by no means is this a review. I'll just talk about the things that I like. I mean, the things that I notice every day when I'm riding. The Panigales have always had a lot of heat problems. Uh, I think that the heat shield on this bike does a decent job of keeping the heat off of you. It's got riding modes that you can select dynamically. It's got the wet mode, it's got the sport mode, it's got the race mode. It's got the lean angle indicator, which is just kind of like... I mean, whenever you ride with your buddies, you always kind of ride stupid. Well, the lean angle indicator is just for those times when you're not riding with your buddies and you're going to ride stupid anyway. So there's that. This bike's got a lot of power. I mean, the bike's got a ton of torque. It's got a ton of power. It might not be S1000RR, but it's a fantastic, it's a fantastic road bike. You know, I don't need all the fancy, I don't need all the fancy S electronics on this thing. Oh, there's some good hot patch. Nasty. It's not completely terrible on fuel. The throttle snappy in race mode. It's soft in uh, wet mode. I mean, the bike sounds fantastic. It's definitely, in my opinion, the most beautiful bike on the road. The quick shifter is out of this world. It's got a lap timer. It's got all these bells and whistles that I'm probably never even gonna use. You know, for fear of causing a comment war, in my opinion, this is the best stock exhaust out there. Like I sat on an old R1 the other day, and it was like 10 feet wide. Union Alehouse Pub? What happened to Fiddlers? Fiddler! Gotcha, bitch! There are very few things that this bike is lacking. I mean, I like the like the throttle response. The brakes are fantastic. The, uh, the, the quick shifter up and down is fantastic. I mean, the way it looks. The way it's cosmetically constructed. I took the fairings off the other day. I got a little out of control. I was washing and waxing and just, it's, it's solid. I mean, there's screws where you think there, there's going to be screws, but then there's always a couple more just to hold everything together just that much tighter. The uh, gear indicator... The gear indicator is fantastic. This is the first bike I've ever had with a gear indicator. Like, usually you come up to a light, yeah, yeah, a little downshift, a little downshift, and you're know, like, oh, am I in third or fourth? You have no idea. Well, I can just look down. Oh, I'm in third right now. Oh, I'm in second. Doop. N is for no gear. I like that this bike has a, a cowl on the back instead of a seat. So nobody can ride with me. Because when I ride this bike, I want to be able to throw it around and do whatever I want to do with it. I like that at night time you can see things with the headlights. I love the single sided swing arm, the way that it looks. I don't care about how it functions, it just looks fantastic. It also functions properly, the bike is moving. I like that this bike hasn't had any problems.
Got like 1,200 miles on it. I haven't been riding it the last couple of weeks because it's been raining. That's why it's not raining right now is because there's nothing left. Actually, tomorrow I'm going down to my hometown, which just kind of got wiped out by a tornado. So I'll get a little footage of that. That's where all the rain went. Not happening, I guess. No spray paint. Jeez. Maybe that guy was looking for buried treasure. <laughs> Not gonna find it here. That's for damn sure. What else do I love about this bike? I love that it has two wheels. I love that it's not terribly uncomfortable. Uh-oh. Oh no. I'll have to fix those with my man talent.